Facebook, Google, Uber, Tinder, the iPhone, Priceline, Amazon. They have little in common except one thing. They've all changed the world in which we live. The world is the tech world, a world where newspapers can be read on a phone, a world where a four-star hotel can go for half the price with a touch, a world where a 19-year-old can cause so much disruption a multi-billion dollar industry can be brought to its knees. It's a world that's brought immense wealth and power to men and women around the world. Innovation and new ideas are the new world currency. Silicon Valley is the epicenter of all that is tech. But that world has not been as open as it should be to urban people, i.e. people of color and women. Americans are the purveyors of popular culture around the world. And the driving force behind American culture comes from urban America. The best way to fix the problem is for us to create our own opportunities. That's where eSports Business Accelerator comes in. eSports Business Accelerator is not your traditional incubator or accelerator. It was designed to highlight the underserved, the urban innovators, women, and others that traditional funding sources are overlooking. We are creating the new wave of technology innovators and bring the urban thinker to the forefront. eSports Business Accelerator, the urban pitch tank. Check out our web series. Empire Tech, and I'm here to present Located Cases. So I want you to imagine that you're on your, way, on your way to somewhere that's very important. And as you head out the door, you realize you can't find your phone. Now you might say, well, I'll just use the Find My Phone app. The question becomes, how are you going to use an app to find the phone that's missing? <laughs> you might say, I'll just have somebody call it. What if no one's around? Or would it be like 20% of Americans who use their phone as their only communication device and access to the internet? So now I'm introducing the core solution to the problem, located cases where you press a button and you find your phone anywhere up to 100 feet. And we do that by embedding computer boards into the phone case itself in a page in one directional paging prompt and key file. So this means you do not need an application to find your phone. Half of lost phones are left in the public place. The number one, phone, number one place phones are lost is the coffee shop. As you can see, there's something called nomophobia, the fear of losing your phone. That affects 66% of the phone owning population. There are double devices to people on the planet right now, and there's a current plan to have the whole world mobile by 2020. So out of billions of people, we're talking about 66% do not want to lose their phone. In the U.S. alone, over $30 billion worth of phones are lost and never returned. This includes with every option that's currently available. There's still $30 billion worth of smartphones in this country that are never returned. And that's because everybody's making software, but this is a hardware problem. You have a phone case with the alarm that you pay for your key file, and it sends a wireless signal. So as you know, an app would also tell you that it's at this location. It would give you the general address. But with this product, it says, oh, it's in my purse, which is the number four place. Oh, it's on top of my car, which is the number seven place phones are lost. We lose phones in places we go every day. We need the opportunity to cut a 30 minute search down to 30 seconds. We need the opportunity to be on time and recover our 600 dollars $800 investment. Our technology is RFID. We send a simple wireless communication that's taking place from computer board to computer board. They're playing lost and found. It says, where are you? And the buzzing beep, it has a beeping sound that says, I'm here. Why now? Well, 80% of the five billion phone owners worldwide buy cases. Nine out of 10 iPhone owners buy cases. So we are already doing something that people are already used to and just enhancing the experience. So once again, focusing on the people who never get their phones back, let's talk about the people who lost an iPhone 7 that are not going to buy an iPhone 8. That's our core customer. These people who experience the pain point and now see a solution to their problem, staring them in the face, where they already spend on average $60 per case. 
And then we have companies like Life Group, which charge $100 per case. We talk, our, my case costs $60, so we're talking about the same price point with more and enhanced value. A lot of these cases are promoted as high technology cases, yet there is no high technology present. How do we make money? Well, we make money in retail, where we get great margins. We pay about $10 per unit. Um, we make them wholesale, so as you walk around and drive around, I want you to pay attention to the term premium and authorized retailers. These are core customers, not early customers, in the distribution market, as well as working with large national and international distributors, because the lost phone problem is actually a global problem. You have places like Bogota where a phone goes missing every two minutes. Or you have places like London which uh, 10,000 phones go missing every day. The number one place phones are lost globally is Manchester, England. This is a global problem with a simple solution. Uh, we also get subscription, so we get reoccurring revenue when people ask, what happens when you go out the range? Well then you can upsell, upsell to our subscription GPS services as well as our bundled insurance. So people pay on average $13 a month for insurance, and we want to bundle that and get that price well below 10 and even below five. So we have great value there. So what happens when we get 100,000 customers that upsell, we make an extra what? Almost 500,000 or whatever a month, just off subscription services. So we have the opportunity for reoccurring revenue. So as you know, the number one place phones lost to coffee shops. We have opportunities for partnerships and sales we already began talking with Starbucks, who's made over a hundred million dollars selling things other than coffee. Um, imagine being able to get your own Starbucks phone case that is a located case. 52% uh, uh, of millennials are early adopters. 80% of college students own smartphones, and that's an interesting stat because in the young adult category, college age males lose their phones the most. In the adult category, working males lose their phones the most. One out of five seniors lose their phone. So we can only be young, an adult, or senior in categories. This is a problem that affects everybody. From gender, age, race, income level, everybody loses phones. Who's our competition? So our competition would be the Find My Phone app. One thing there is more people have Androids than Apples, but also with goes back to what we hit on earlier, that a phone can, an app can only give you the general location as well as it's missing. So it's kind of, uh, I guess, like a term redundant, right? My phone's missing, I'm gonna access the app. Um, we have Otterbox, which is the number one phone case company. They make over a billion dollars in sales selling phone cases at really, really good margins. But what they do not have is phone finding technology. Um, and what they use is from damage protection, something called polycarbonate plastic, which is the industry standard. So it means that as my company, we can go and use polycarbonate plastic, but through our patented technology, their company cannot page phone cases from a key file. So that's our advantage even on the incumbents. Um, we look at what I believe our true competition will be Assurion. So they get paid for people losing their phones um, through your $250 deductible. And what we do is prevent people from losing their phones. So we are basically saving, you potentially saving everyone who owns a phone $250 at minimum. 